Welcome back folks to three pound fishing and we are out here on the fall. Check out the check out the color changes of these trees. It is still early, but that is insane. I mean that is that is some good stuff right there. Man, you just you have to love fishing in the fall. Transition into the winter. Fishing is uh, fantastic. Before we even got this thing rolling, I've I've caught probably about a dozen fish and I just I couldn't stop myself. So but today what we're gonna do is we're finding new piles. We're not fishing anything we know. Uh, even the fish I already caught were on piles that I had never seen. And all I did was go to the map function. Let me just show you right here. So everybody has this on their Garmin units for the most part. I know you can buy units without mapping, so perhaps not everyone does, but I'm just gonna tell you, this mapping is super detailed. I mean, better than anything that I've seen. I mean, in some regards, I wish I had not purchased the, the Solix for up here and just utilized this map because then you can use a function like this where you have your live sonar over here and at the same time you have your mapping. I think, I think that's, uh, that's great. I mean, really, honestly, that's all you need. I have the 16 inch, uh, you know, Garmin allows me to have a fairly large live scope sonar um, side of the screen. And at the same time, I have my map up. But what I was using that map for was to try to target in at 25 feet or less and I found new structure and I caught fish and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of this episode is do exactly that. I do have my phone with me. I will do active captain to kind of show you some of the good spots that we find, um, at least the, the, the structure that we're fishing. And um, they're active right now. We got water temperatures at 66 degrees. This is perfect. You know, this is the sweet spot in my opinion. 50 to 60, 50 to 70 really is the sweet spot. I think 55 is the ideal. I think that's when the fish truly are at their peak of activity. Um, 55 is, but uh, they're certainly active right now. So we're gonna put fish in the boat. I appreciate you guys joining me. Let's do this. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. There's our first fish. That's a good fish. Ow, that hurt. That's a good fish. That's a good starter fish. Here at Three Pound Fishing Nation. Right now this pile is just right underneath this and all I've been doing is going around shorelines. Oop, we just lost about half of them. I just spooked them. That's how it works. Oh well, let's see. All right, so there's a, there's a look of, you know, a small little structure that I've got going here. And uh, again, I try to keep them out about 30 feet. I throw it out there. And uh, usually these type of fish are pretty aggressive sitting on these limbs like this, especially the high, high up in the water column. There was the bite. Um, you know, time on the water is gonna get you those, those uh, casts accurate. Um, and I'm always targeting for just about two feet behind it or right on top of it. I actually don't mind it being right on top of it. I think the action of it, um, reversing actually intrigues it a lot. So I'll just bounce it now just because these guys haven't seemed to have been intrigued. There it is. That's a fish. So yeah, just like I thought. He came up with his his gills just a little bit taken there. And that is uh finding him on and that's a great image right there. I mean, that that right there, I really like this amber, this amber picture is really popping. Now, I'm right here. A 10 footer will actually drop right into a four foot, it's four foot away from the boat. I pitched it a little bit. That's why I came in at eight feet, but here's this guy. I'll play it up. try hair jigs yeah we're kind of spooking them away just because we've gotten really close see how they're kind of wandering away they're wandering down uh, just gotten a little too co close to the to them and uh, we're trying to stay out of the wind so we've got some clear water right now with no wind and sometimes I'll just jig it to see if that will intrigue anything I'm 
I'll show you guys something. And it's gonna seem so obvious. But I've already, uh, hopefully that's, uh, hold on, let me. Another fish. I've already caught. <sighs> I've already caught three off this thing. And I, I mean, really, I'm, I'm just marking new structure. Check this out. Now here's your down, here's your down limb right here. Down tree, right there. I mean, anytime you see something like that on a shoreline, it's worth casting into it. Cast it into it three times, cut one by two fish. Here. Basically, what I'm saying is not all the, the structure is hidden. It's just laying on the shoreline. And uh, this, is, this is a monster tree that's fallen down. And all you have to do is cast right over it. And these fish are so aggressive during this fall time that, you know, I mean, every cast. Uh, my first fish was a really good one. Oh, he got off. Oh but my first fish was really big. It was a good size fish. Um, and they're just a bunch of great eating si size fish getting hit every cast. Every cast. Fishing with that ghost again. So this is a lot of fun. Uh, you could really fill live well up pretty darn quick. Yeah, there's another one. And he's a smaller one, but don't don't ignore <laughs> don't ignore the obvious. It's funny. I probably do a lot, but that right there, I bet you I could sit here and catch an easy 30. And some are gonna be small, but it's fun. And you're gonna catch some good ones too at the same time. And that's all I'm doing right now is I'm going down the shoreline, uh, looking at my maps, but at the same time, looking at my, my uh, live scope. So you can see right here, I'll bring it all the way up to 75 and I just will go down this shoreline, staying in that 12 foot water, you know, and both back and forth. So I'm covering basically the 12 to 14 foot in this particular cove, but it's a lot of fun though. I like it, especially in the fall days, man. That doesn't get any better. That right there is, is absolute money. Yeah, just about everything is working. That's what I'd say. It's a small guy, but man, he came from deep. Ooh, this is just fun fishing, man. Just fun fishing. Fall time doesn't get any better. I'll tell you what, you know what does get better? I think it's, it's well, fall fishing's the best. And again, you're always targeting that one temperature. 55, in my opinion, is the sweet spot. Right now we're at 67. But winter fishing is actually a lot of ball is a ball too, especially on my home lake. So guide trips, check it out. Um, I'm telling you, that's a unique experience. So as always, I'm using the, the 10 footer from Ozark Rods, sniping braid, 10 pound, optimal. You can use optimize as well, but this is what I use on my own lake. I love the casting, the lightweight of it. I talk about that a lot. Um, the diameter is everything with that. And then of course, um, a 30 second ounce head. Um, check out the, the tackle on my website. It's freaking awesome. Um, all the jigs are best quality. Can't beat them. Period. Eyelids are perfect. You don't got paint in them. All that great stuff. So check them out. And uh, we're just still looking for structure now. We've kind of moved to another section of the lake. And uh, I'll give you some more active captain here. I want you guys to check this out. This is that is like I'm gonna expand it out a little. Expand it out a little bit. That is a lot of fish. So 20 feet in front of us. That should be a pretty good cast. See if we can see that bait. There it is coming through on the backside. And I mean, I have caught so many fish today, guys, that uh, 
I'm just, that's a good fish. And these are all spots that I have not fished before. And that's another pig. I mean, I have, look at that, great fish. Got that on active captain, I hope. Oh yeah, baby. You gotta love it. Look at that. Just freaking stoked in there. And again, all these baits are on my website. I'm I'm fishing with the uh, Cajun Crazy right paddle tail, and this thing with a with a pink head, which makes no sense. But good lord, it's just it's just been crushing the fish. Just dragging it on the bottom. Ooh, that's a pig. That's gonna end it, folks. Oh, let me see. Let me show you this fish. This is crazy. This is now that is fun fishing right there. Save the best to last. Oh, gosh dang. That's a beautiful fish. We let them go here at three pound fishing, right here. There he goes. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.